for the likes of you two. Boring? Well, we won't be blowing things up. Taking or engaging in fire. Crash landing, expectedly or unexpectedly. Those were the days. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the first four episodes of Star Trek Picard's Season 3. Now these episodes are, the first one is called The Next Generation, the second one is Disengage, the third one is 17 Seconds, and the fourth one is No Win Scenario. Now my initial plan was to uh, watch the pilot episode of season 3 and then give you my thoughts on it. Um, however, I just didn't get a chance when uh, the first episode came out to check that one out. So I've kind of now uh, binge watched like the first four episodes on Amazon. Um, and this season, season 3, famously, we see the return of the Next Generation crew. Pretty much what we've all been begging for since Star Trek Picard was announced several years ago. And we never got, not really, we got hints at it in the first couple of seasons, I suppose. Um, and this time round, Jean-Luc Picard um, receives um, an SOS, really, from Dr. Crusher, who he hasn't seen for 20 years. She seems in a lot of distress, injured, and he hatches a plan with um, Riker. To hitch a ride on the USS Titan. Um, they get there and things really, really escalate out of control. Um, and the first four episodes really focus very heavily on that scenario. Um, Picard and Riker and Seven of Nine, who is the first officer on the Titan, um, working alongside um, a reluctant captain on that ship to try and get themselves out of pretty much a no-win situation they're up against a much more powerful ship um and they're trying to negotiate with people and they don't really know what they want all they know is that they want um beverly crusher basically and a companion that she has with her who i won't spoil who that may be um so the first four episodes have really focused heavily on that as well as um Raphael, obviously we know from the first couple of seasons He's working like undercover for the Federation. She's trying to find out who's been stealing um, tech um, for like terrorist activities. There's a real, real terrorist attack on a Federation building. Many people die and she vows to track down who is responsible. Uh, and she teams up with a very familiar member of the Next Generation crew. And that is uh, Worf. Um, so that's where we kind of pretty much get to with the arc of the first four episodes. Um, obviously, there's quite a lot happens in these four episodes, but I don't really want to spoil an awful lot of it. Right, so what, what's my feedback, really, for the first four episodes of Picard? Well, I'll be brutally honest with you guys. I really didn't have an awful lot of intentions of watching the third season of Picard. My interest was absolutely peaked. When I realised, or when it was announced that it was kind of going to be um, a reunite, uh, the, the Next Generation crew reuniting on the third season. Um, but still, I, I'd been stung, if you like, by the first two seasons. The first season of Picard, I, I managed to get through. And there were moments in that first season uh, that I enjoyed. But overall, I was pretty disappointed with it. And I'll be brutally honest, the second season of Picard, I stopped watching after I think the second or third episode. I can't remember which. It was just awful. Really, really bad. I just didn't like it at all. Um, so I'd, I felt stung. But I had some hope in my heart because I'd watched Star Trek Strange New Worlds. And that was a real return to form for the Star Trek franchise. Um, which... I, I just loved that show. I thought it was brilliant. So it, it looks it looks like to me that Paramount, if you like, are learning maybe from their mistakes. They're alienating the Star Trek fan base in a lot of ways with some of the stuff that they're doing. Um, and it really does look like they are learning from their mistakes. So I had a little bit of hope for Picard. And then I started seeing some reviews of people that I trust coming in for Star Trek Picard, and they were loving it. And people that have really, really disliked the first two seasons as well, I'm not, you know, people that really, really went to town on them two seasons, they're actually coming back and saying, wow, season three is brilliant, I'm really enjoying it. So I was on board at that point then. 
So I thought, oh, well, I'm definitely going to be checking this out now. Um, and I have to say, guys, they're right. Season three is so far wonderful. Absolutely loving it. As a Star Trek fan, um, it is what I wanted from Picard. When it was announced, what I had in my head, season three has finally given us what I wanted. Um, it feels like Star Trek again. It feels like Picard is behaving like Picard again. We've got the rest of the crew coming back, getting their swan songs. Worf's brilliant from what we see of him. Riker, you know, Crusher. They're all kind of behaving like they should behave, behaving how we expect these characters to behave. And it definitely looks like they're looking at it and thinking, right, let's give these characters an ending that they really deserve. Let's give the fans of the Next Generation crew a swan song that they can really, really get the teeth into and really, really enjoy. And they really have done that. Um, it, so far, the first four episodes have been gripping, nail-biting. There have been scenes of real confrontation. There have been lighter moments. There have been battles, explosions, betrayals. Great effects. Um, and so far, this is giving me exactly what I want from a Star Trek show. So if you're a fan of Star Trek and you've been put off by Star Trek Discovery, Star Trek Picard, so on and so forth, and you want a little bit of nostalgia, you want a little bit of Star Trek how it used to be, don't get me wrong, it's still quite dark and there's still moments in it where it feels a little bit, mm, some of the Raphael stuff I wasn't keen on until Worf turned up, then it really picked up. But overall, it is night and day compared to the first two seasons of Picard so far, and I'm absolutely really enjoying it, and I'm going to complete this season for sure, uh, and I'm sure I'm going to enjoy the rest of it, fingers crossed, anyway. And when I have completed uh, the third season, I will give you a full review and feedback of my thoughts of the third season overall. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.